my God! Look at the to the, 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 the watch. It's, it's not. It's not coming to me, man. It's, it's supposed it's to be a some... wonderful day today. The most beautiful ah! day. Of... Oh, it's this! Oh my oh, God! Shit. My neck. <laughs> it's happening! It's Friday, and it's time for L F Tearless Fridays, baby. Another Dragonfly edition, and you know we have to talk about tanks because oh, we yeah, 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 DPS, yeah, yeah. There's tanks and healers left. We're gonna start it off with tanks and rank them. Um, yeah, this obviously <laughs> just like you know six six pieces of uh, work we have here. But the thing is, we're ranking these based on the current talents they have right the current the talent trees build, yes so not judging damage although we will address some of the damage because so, uh, some boomkins and arms warriors <laughs> what tanks <laughs> there's, who there's, there's uh, something to discuss about uh but uh yeah so uh do enjoy we're gonna just start it off directly there's no warning blood dk now i have to say about blood dk <clears> man the first time we got the talents for blood it was kind of like how it is right now on live which is not what you would normally expect from a Blood Decay. Sure, it's very meta at the moment, especially in Mythic Plus, but that's not what Blood Decay is all about. Changes have come to the tree, and now Blood Decay is looking, I would say, better. Oh, it's uh, it's way better right now, mostly because better. of the identity of the Blood Decay kind of being reinstated that's and what I'm saying, man. Uh, changes happening to Dancing Rune Weapon where it's no longer extended, but the talent that used to extend it, that gave you the, I think it was the Force Set, um, it now actually just gives you a flat increase in duration, about 8 seconds, unless they, they will change that, tune it, you know, different numbers. The thing is, it will last longer, which is already really good for a very short cooldown one that's also being reduced further because you can still reduce it by consuming bone shields or by, you know, letting people hit you through the, uh, let's say, the Crimson Rune Weapon Legendary Effect, which has a different name. It's the third name that this has, so I cannot remember what it is, but it is there, and it's actually really <laughs> the good. The third version of its name, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's they don't want the same legendary name, so uh, yeah, what can you do? Yeah, yeah. But it, it's not quite there yet, right? I it's, mean, it's it feel like it's missing a couple of tuning numbers because there are certain talents that, are, that, that you, you're kind of pigeonholed into, and you cannot really go around them. However, one really important thing, and maybe the most important thing that they've done to Blood Decay is that put, they put Gorfin's Grasp in the middle so that it's easily accessible and you don't have to sacrifice uh, either the throughput or tankiness or anything like that to get it because it is part of the core playstyle and the way it was before was egregious because it was a capstone and stupid because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why you would take a Blood Decay, the main reason where, you know, if you want it to be important for you to be taken into a group, that would be why you would be taken. Definitely, but uh, in terms of ranking, I mean, uh, given the fact that it's still some some tuning over there, it's not quite finished yet. Well, it's it's really good. I would put it into let's say bottom eight tier. Bottom um, eight tier. It's B, I think it, B tier is uh, it would be unfunctional, but actually, Blood Decay is in a good spot right now. It's looking like Fair. it's going to be better and better. And with the changes, it could be let's. I, I would see it S tier if they fix whatever other things, because it's a good tank, has good tools, good utility, and it doesn't feel like you're sacrificing anything to be the bloody kid that you have to be yeah okay next up on the list brew master bunk which i think out of all of the bunch has seen like the most normal days i mean i haven't seen any crazy numbers as opposed to some others on this list i yeah. think like the 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 tree is more or less kind of complete there are a couple of things to be changed here and there but i don't see major issues with with brew master monks to be honest it feels like it's one of those specs where like I don't know, 70% complete, 80% complete? Well, I've talked with Panthea about it, and um, although the Brewmaster has maybe one of the coolest talent trees, the tuning will be very important because with the way the tuning is right now, you're never going to take a bunch of talents that are available, and that's just a little bit weird. So, because you can play like the, the Breathing Fire build, but there are a couple of choice nodes where you're only, only going to pick one of the options 110% of the time, so that kind of sucks when it goes to, you know, choosing. Like, I, I see what they're doing with, uh, with Brewmaster. I really, really like it. But yeah. I feel like either it's going to come down to tuning. And if that fucks up, then you're going to be playing most likely one, one build, build one for, build, yeah. for the entire expansion. So yeah, I get that. But I think when we're talking about tuning, we I don't think we can really put it in like as a deciding factor here. We just no, like the philosophy of the talent, it works. The pet, the, 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 there's multiple builds, obviously. Yes, we know tuning is a major concern. We're still a couple of months away until finished if we get finished with all of that there's like ridiculous numbers over there but i feel like brewmaster monk talent tree as like in terms of ranking it it's like pretty close to i want to say perfection 
but it's getting there. <laughs> well, it feels like it's a little bit better than Blood Decay, so maybe we could say bottom S tier in terms of tools and utility. I would, uh, because put, I would have put it in S tier for sure. It does, it does have a bunch of stuff that makes it in a, into a really good tank, and Brewmaster has always been a really good tank, and with the added cooldowns from the general talent tree, and, any, and if the numbers are tuned properly, I would have no problems putting into S in terms of like how it feels and what you can do as a tank on a monk. Yeah, it's 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 uh, as I said uh, in terms of like how they build this talent tree. Uh, I don't see much to be worked on over there. Yes, tuning aside, the tree is kind of amazing and it does enable multiple playstyles. Granted, at the end of the day, you can actually have some viability with them. Uh, okay, now. <laughs> Speaking about tuning, <laughs> uh, Guardian Druid. Uh, well, Guardian Druid, which is not like it's way better than what we had on live, oh, it's, and it's, it's very better. reminiscent to what what should have been uh, Guardian Druid or what what was at least Guardian Druid. I would say maybe in Legion, uh, the bleed damage thing, and you know, uh, the Druid tree suffer like uh, Guardian also uh, suffer from the same uh, problem. Where you know Berserk was split up all over the place and all of that, yeah. and it kind of kind of broke the spec a little bit in in some regard. But there has been changes to it and iterations. The only problem is if you want to play that you know traditional bleedy bear you know thrashing all around and all of that, <laughs> you know it's when you compare that to how the the fucking moon fires and you know the arcane damage uh, super galactic yeah, there that's, is that's, doing that's not normal uh, i mean you've probably watched some of our latest videos where uh, we did uh, what <laughs> a lego warlock and, tank. <laughs> yeah and lego was tanking on the bear and uh, although in the last one i think my damage meters weren't working but he was doing he had to actually stop pressing abilities just so yeah. that whatever spec I was testing, I could actually spend some time to kill stuff because the damage was too high. But then again, like I mentioned, this is tuning. So we're not talking uh, in terms of tuning because that's always going to be changed. However, in terms of design, Bear is actually really fun. And for the first time in like three expansions, I would be excited to play Bear in the way that they're taking the talent tree. So like Marcina said, there's like kind of two vibes to the talent tree. There's the left hand side, which is very ferally where you have a yeah. lot of mall, mall, like they made mall relevant. Fuck yeah. man, that's so good. It's and been it a hits, long time. <laughs> it hits really hard and you can yeah. play a really fun thrash build where you had, uh, you have all of the cool thrash mechanics in the last three expansions and you can get them all and it feels really fun. Or you can go the, the druidy side of the talent tree where it's a lot of balance. It's a lot of arcane, moonfire spread, dots, yeah, and arcane. That's the broken part. Yeah, the, all the damage, the, yeah. I would imagine the damage will be will be changed. But outside of the damage, it generates rage, it reduces damage taken, it helps you with gaining aggro, and I think that's really important. And we'll see exactly how the numbers will look like, but in terms of design, I actually really like Bear. I would say it's close to S tier if they could uh, address maybe some some really, really, I, I don't want to say tuning, but it feels like uh, even with the tuning, it's oppressively strong to go in the arcane side. So where are you going to put it? Uh, in front of Bloody game, uh, which is something that for me hasn't happened in like four years. <laughs> yeah, this so, is a shock. Everybody, this is breaking news. <laughs> Guardian Druid takes the cake for uh, Bloody Key here. But, you know, things are going to change probably in the future. So we'll see. Now, next on the list, uh, it is the tank I played the most on the beta and uh, also dabbled into it recently on, on live again. It's not uh, my first time riding this pony. <laughs> <laughs> Brock Paladins. Um, so I'm just gonna have to say I was uh, kind of disappointed about Brock Paladins uh, here, and it's uh, well not a similar story to Red because they didn't like really break the spec into pieces. However, uh, I guess for a lot of the prot mains, the, the first concern or issue or problem with it was that, you know, you don't generate holy power anymore with your Avenger shield, which is, you know, a, 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 a bit of a shame. That's, that's, that was bold. That was very bold yeah, to, to make I that mean, change. In terms of like playstyle, you didn't really feel that gimped because of it. I mean, you can still generate holy power. It just, yeah, it feels a little bit more slow due to it. However, I think the the, the all of the paladin trees maybe except for holy uh suffer the problem of the general tree which is like very convoluted and very uh, no, uh throughput not, oriented not uh yeah there's there's lots of things plus you gotta remember uh spell wording is now available to all paladin uh, specs 
this was something unique to Prot. I mean, Prot Paladin at the moment has no uniqueness to it, nothing. It doesn't bring anything new or unique to the table. It used to be spell warding, which was a very big thing uh, back in the day. <laughs> I'm speaking like Shadowlands was yesterday. But this, like, I was expecting, and I talked to Lincoln about this as well. He kind of was like, he's like on this side. There's no new talents for Hammer of Wrath, for Judgment, nothing. It's just the same old thing and no new interactions with it. So you're basically playing the same thing, but less interesting. So in that regard, uh, I'm not going to say too much on it. It's a disappointment. It, I, I, it's not unplayable. It still does decent damage, heals, and can tank. But I would put it into a C tier. <laughs> Lincoln would put it into a D tier. But, I, I'm, you know, it's not... Uh, I'm not going to be that doomy about it. I feel... There was huge potential for it. They didn't really go go for a lot of the things that could yeah, have made. Bec brought. Because of how Paladin is being treated all in all in Dragonflight uh, doesn't make me want to put Prot any higher. I liked a couple of things that they're, they're trying to do with Avenger Shield with all of the extra shields or major single target uh, hitting shield. That I forgot what, uh, what the name of yeah. it is. And that's cool. But it felt like two or three things in a sea of like seven or eight that were not necessarily amazing. And... Yeah, it the, feels the, the, disconnected. This the is tree. the thing. It, it feels like most of the talents, and Lincoln put it very well on this. Most of the talents feel like like trinket style things, right? It's not like you, when you look at other trees like Prot Warrior, which was going to get get you. It feels like there's more meat to it, and some decisions that you make going into a pad have a really good impact. When for Prot Paladin, it's just yeah, it's, it's no enhancement. More armor on Shoulder Righteous, more yeah. block with Consecration or Plus, whatever. It's... A lot of talents are not working, they're bugged, this is all that, but just yeah. by the synergy of it and how it looks... Needs work, it, needs it, work it, for it, sure. It needs more love for sure. Uh, this this is what I stand and what I tested from, and also like uh, Lincoln from Hammer of Wrath. But moving on to positive things, more happier Holy days. Holy shit. Oh, Prot Warrior, baby. baby. What a beast. What a beast. <clears throat> Let's go, man. Let's go. What, Dude, what um, do you have to say Okay, about so it, Prot Warrior right now, we are going to see some changes in the next couple of weeks to Prot Warrior. So we don't know exactly where they're going to take it. However, in terms of design, it's actually really cool. The problem is the damage. It deals stupid amounts of damage. But then again, that's tuning and that will be neutered down let's say however in terms of design it's actually really cool um first of all the general talent tree right now for warrior is one of the best talent trees in the way that it's designed it still needs maybe slight work for instance you have a lot of throughput nodes that you can easily get you have a lot of tankiness and utility the capstones are particularly strong and competitive however uh, stuff like Avatar and Unstoppable Force will likely be the clap build and you'll also want Spear Bastion and these are making it really hard to pick any of the other two which right now is Shockwave and Thunderous Roar. They're trying to make Shockwave really cool with Sonic Boom which is something that you can uh, play as Pro Warrior which is something that could be cool because you can take that and you can take a Rumbling Earth reducing Shockwave to something like 25-30 second cooldown. Uh, an ability that does decent AoE damage and always crits which is something that could really help Pro Warrior get Snap Threat uh, which is something that it had problems with right now in Shadowlands and in BFA because the baseline numbers for Pro Warriors in terms of damage output are pretty shit, but they're like way over the top now on. Yeah. There are some cool builds with Rend and applications with Rend, <laughs> which uh, uh, Blood and Thunder makes you spread Rend, which is really cool. And obviously uh, outside of the damage that it deals, because I'm sounding like a broken record right now, you have a talent that makes it so that when the target takes bleed damage from you, you get a chance to generate rage, which is really cool. See, this is what I'm saying, man. This is really cool interactions that enable yeah. some cool places that I like spreading out rent and that had that rent taken having a chance to get you energy this is what I want something like that I want this, this for I'm, I'm telling you man if whoever's working on warrior can take paladin under their wing uh, <laughs> yeah it uh, it's times. gonna be really cool because uh, uh, pro warrior has a similar theme with arms and fury where you have a couple of core abilities that you can build the build around yeah. you have you can do the clap build <laughs> that we like to play in in uh, BFA you can play a spammy revenge seismic slam build that you kind of can play now to do a lot of damage you can play a bleed build you can play a shield block build a single target build it has a lot of cool interactions outside of the the the, uh, the general balance of it the design and the scope of where they want to take pro warrior is really cool and to addition with the new tools for instance spell block is really fun it's kind of what prop Elden has and it's a cooldown it's not something that passive that like prop Elden does there are a couple of things that they try to do that didn't really work, like Shield Charge. It's supposed to kind of be reprisal, but it's a cooldown, so I don't know how that's going to be, and it's an ability. It won't make your charge or your intervene give you block. 
and that's probably for the best because reprisal the mechanic of reprisal would have probably been overpowered no matter what they did yeah. um so so far bar some of the changes that are going to come to pro warrior i think pro warrior is a solid s year way in front of brewmaster yeah, for yeah. me i think it's like uh well, i think at the moment is it's worthy of being in front of the s tier for sure but we still have one more tank on oh. the list which is vengeance oh. demon hunter uh i mean we were let's be fair here i think uh a lot of us were expecting you know some 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 gimta situations when we when it came to like the general demon hunter tree and specifically now for the the vengeance but like uh when we tested it it didn't really feel it was that bad short there was a couple of things that can could have been addressed for it but i think uh, for the most part it can it can still be a decent Oh. In, a, in a decent spot not to the extent <clears throat> of of prot uh, warrior or maybe even uh, brewmaster but it's it's getting there see i don't i don't know about that because there's two things that we need to talk about first of all uh, vengeance is the latest thing that has been added and as with all specs that have been added into the new talent system the first talent version is never going to stay right it's always going to improve it, upon they had some good stuff over there <laughs> yeah yeah well that's what i mean right so uh whatever they have now is most likely going to be improved unless whoever's working on paladin picks up demon hunter <laughs> oh come on man don't rub it um, in like that but uh outside of that there are a couple of uh other really better so or what or what vengeance has right now is really cool i kind of wished it had the tier set mechanic where you can uh use the the mass generation of soul shards or soul fragments rather to kind of reduce cooldowns of immolate and fell devastation and that would be really cool however i don't know if that's gonna end up in even without that it's pretty cool especially with the changes to metamorphosis first of all you get blur and darkness as that's, vengeance that's what i'm saying which, man, for vengeance that's amazing <laughs> for having not so much yeah i know man but that's the thing right vengeance always kind of struggled with the survivability situation sure it did a lot of damage and because of its mobility and its dodge chance or whatever it kind of survived but when it when it was time to like take a hit and you didn't really have any other options you were squishy as fuck that was the problem with vengeance and that's having a, darkness and blur that's one kind part of and addresses it and they're also changing the mastery where uh, initially the mash would give you armor uh, will give you extra armor while you pop uh, demon spikes now it gives you half of that value outside of demon spikes as well so that when you don't drop your so when you do drop your demon spikes you don't just die again like a paper not to mention with yeah. all the other cool interactions that you can play right now you can play the fiery brand spread build that reduces the damage that you take from targets affected by fiery brand by 40 percent which is fucking massive that's shield wall and if you can spread it enough you'll take re uh, massive reduced damage it's still gonna be a very good aoe tank for sure yeah uh, mythic plus tank I, as it is uh, currently plus i like the fact that they they kind of like spread out like different versions of demon spikes like at the beginning of the tree you can go a couple of routes uh still to be worked on but i feel like it's, you know, it's it's actually looking to solve a lot of the issues considering yeah. that now feed the demon is something that you'll pick because feed the demon reduces the cooldown of demon spikes whenever you consume souls which was always at odds with fracture which this is maybe my biggest issue with with vengeance demon hunter make fracture baseline because it's silly to never take fracture it's just a fucking waste to spam shears and not generate souls the value of taking fracture is so huge that either you take fracture out of the game completely or you make it baseline, baseline yeah. outside of that with the new changes to demonic origins where uh, you can have your big metamorphosis cooldown every two minutes uh, the duration is no longer reduced and you get extra versatility that sounds really fucking cool and depending on how they tune everything else you get elysian decree as well you have the hunt you can play both <laughs> right now depending on how you know looks up in the next couple of weeks i think vengeance is an s tier for me above brewmaster not yeah. quite at warrior level but if warrior gets fucked likely yeah, that, vengeance that's what is, i was saying uh, i think warrior looks like like the best all around <laughs> in a lot of capacities and uh, vengeance kind of like bridged bridged all of its gaps i would say from the past two expansions so it, it's looking like the the prop you should be the fat bulwarky demon yeah, with a lot yeah, of spikes yeah. man it does make sense to be squishy yeah okay i i get that but in some sense you do have to have some sort of tools to to have a reaction where you have that moment okay because again you could play around you know situations where you would get one shot and you know just be super squishy and all but i feel like prot and vengeance at the moment are looking to be like the kind of like the best talent trees all around design yeah changes are going to occur flay mentioned that pro is going to get an update probably next week or in two weeks i don't know uh vengeance is looking to to have the sort of the same treatment so updates will come but as it stands currently 
this is what we're looking at. So we tested all of these tanks on the, the alpha and the beta, played around with the builds, the talents, you know, the ones that work, the ones that don't work. This is kind of our, um, let's say, assessment. The, the assessment on the rankings of tank. By no means does this mean you'll have to make a decision on what you're going to play in Dragonflight because there's still updating a lot of these talents so it's more a, a, a situation where okay we're gonna look at how it looks today and maybe help some of the folks working yeah, on this uh, a it, little bit of it's a, a starting point and yeah. that means that you will have to watch future videos that we make about tanks yeah you better you better but this is the final image okay so first of all patreons thank you so much for you. supporting the content you enable us to do all of this wonderful stuff as you probably noticed we're kind of on the daily videos grind right now and uh you know it's it is a lot of work but uh, thanks to y'all it makes it a little bit more easy really, really around appreciate here it. uh but also you know the more cast podcast the twitches the stream twitches the twitches on stream you know what i'm saying <laughs> all of that so if you want to join the patreon in any way and support us a little bit more just check the link in the description we have Number bloopers two. we have patreon talks we have wallpapers with your character over there it's pretty cool things happening on the patreon side so uh check it out and Thank you, dear viewer, for watching the video and supporting our content by being here. Yeah. And uh, we will catch you in the next one. Bye! I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wild.